Hey everyone, Technometry with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the iPad Air that's frozen, stuck, unresponsive, screen's not working, whatever the issue is, you want to follow these steps to quickly fix it without losing any of your data on your iPad. So let's get started. So on the newer iPad Air here, you'll see here, there's the volume up and volume down button and then the top lock or the touch ID button. What we need to do is first press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down one after another and then hold on to that lock or the touch ID button until the screen goes completely black. So in real time, I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to that lock or that touch ID. And it's gonna say slide to power off, but you do not have to touch anything. Just keep on holding your iPad until the screen goes completely black. As you can see here, I'm holding on to it and the screen went black. And once the Apple logo appears, you can let go of that touch or the lock button and the iPad should boot up normally. All this is doing is shutting down the iPad completely and reloading the code. So if it's a software related issue impacting our iPad, it will be fixed. And you might need to do this a few times to get the hang of it. Again, sometimes it doesn't work the first time if it's a new method for you. So it's just do volume up, volume down, and then you hold on to that touch ID or the lock button just like that. As you can see here, I'm doing it again. And you can do it as many times as you need to until you could get that iPad to respond. And hopefully after doing this, it works for you just like that here, as you can see here. And then I let go of that lock or touch ID button. And this works great to fix most software related issue. And this is number number Apple's number one go-to troubleshooting step when it comes to fixing any frozen, stuck, unresponsive, uh, iPad just not working or functioning the way it should. Go ahead and try this method, also known as a force restart. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.